Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be looking at how you can increase your frames per second in Planetside 2 because I know that was a huge concern for you guys. So what I'm going to be doing is just giving you a knowledge dump, just running through this very very quickly, see if we can do it in under 5 minutes because a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory as long as you know where to go. Uh, that said, I cannot claim uh, having figured any of this out. I've just lots of threads, lots of uh, videos elsewhere. People have already done all the, the research, all the footwork for me. So first thing I want to do is uh, we're going to look at your uh, in-game, what's what's kind of bogging you down. And so when you're in Planet Side 2, you can hold uh, or press Control, I'm sorry, press uh, Alt and F, and that's going to give you a little indicator at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And it's going to say your frames per second, and then it'll say GPU or CPU. So if your GPU bogged, then that means you need a better graphics card processor. Uh, long story short there. But if your CPU choked, which is... Uh, a lot uh, has a lot to do with just uh, Planet Side 2 being poorly optimized for multiple processing cores, uh, as I understand it. I'm not a tech guy, so please remember that. Uh, then this is kind of what all of the or most of the information is going to apply to. But that said, first thing we want to do is go to our drivers and make sure that they are updated. So I use an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to GeForce.com/drivers. Going to go. We can, uh, you know look for the updates, download them, whatever, and if you have a Radeon or other product, then I uh, I apologize. So, next thing we want to do is go to the uh, the Razer Game Booster, download that. Some people, uh, you know, if you don't like it, that's your choice, but it has worked well for me in the past. Oh, and by the way, just so everybody knows, I did not always have an amazing computer. Uh, actually, in April is when I got it, so the videos before that, if you're a new subscriber, you can check those out. I was having a lot of issues controlling my frames per second, so a lot of the stuff I have tried, and it has made a very impactful, uh, or it has made a, a big impact in my frames per second. Razer Game Booster being one of them. So if it uh, if it works for you, then that is awesome. Just download it, install it, press the button. If it doesn't work for you, uninstall it. Then you'll have wasted five minutes. Oh well, right. Uh, so Razer Game Booster, give it a shot. Large address aware. So what we're gonna do. Actually, you can just type in large address aware in Google. This is the first result for me, but if it's not for you, the, uh, the it is in the description below. But what you want to do is click on it. I'm going to scroll down to the, uh, the zip file. I actually have this. You can download it in the description below. Everything is going to be linked in the description below, so just check it out. But this does tell you exactly how it works. Execute it once, and then you can delete it after that if you'd like. But Aside from that, we're going to unpark our cores as well. So just doing the same thing. If you want to Google unpark cores, uh, first result for me, again, uh, just go here. tells you all about it. You're going to download a uh, the Manage Park CPU utility, and then you check the status, and you just go through this whole rigmarole. Uh, and what, what that does is it makes it so if you have multiple processors, a lot of the times uh, you will have those cores being parked and that means they're not being used, it's like they're sleeping and uh, the way or reason why Windows does this I guess is to make sure your computer doesn't overheat which is I, I guess a risk, I haven't actually heard anybody having an, a real issue with it but they do advise you to be mindful of that and also uh, to save on energy consumption so uh, this is something you can try. I, I think uh, people who use AMD processors have more success with unparking their cores. Also, oh, the last thing really is just to mess with the user options.ini file. And the the easiest way to get to that is to open up your Planetside 2, the launcher, uh, and then in the bottom left hand corner you're going to see this uh, advanced tools thing right here, so this little wrench icon. Click on it go to open game directory and also you can you can you know if you know where the thing is installed in your computer that's fine but we're gonna scroll down go to user options and this is a .ini file so we can actually open this up because this uh, this controls everything it has who you muted it has your key bindings has all of the information that tailors the game to the way that uh, uh, it's set up for you to play right so the user options.ini file lets us tinker with things more than the the in-game menus are going to do. So the in-game menu or menus are going to 
make flora quality low, but they won't let us turn it off. And just all, all sorts of settings. So in the description below, you're going to see a uh, user options.ini file uh, that has very, very low settings. And we're going to be using that one. But so the first thing we want to do, user options.ini, you actually want to copy this and then paste it to your desktop. So uh, so you don't lose the settings that you have because there, if you do screw something up, then you're going to get errors errors from the, uh, the planet side to launcher, and and the way to fix that is just to go in and, and put your old options uh, dot ini here, or you can actually just delete it entirely, and then start up planet side two, and it's going to create one for you with all the defaults. But the uh, so the crappy version right is to go, and it's it's basically basically to turn everything off. And some of these aren't set to off, but the, the one in the description below will, uh, it should, it'll give you uh, the lowest quality possible. So what this is going to do is it's going to set the, the, the settings below what you can reach in the menu itself. And how we're going to put this uh, into play is just by having this edited user options ini, And we can just, um, we can just throw this, you know, right into the, uh, the folder if we want to, but if we're just going to edit the user options that are in here, we would just take the uh, so the new version. We're going to copy this, right? Boom, paste that in over the uh, oops, paste that in over the same area. So if I'm taking display information, I'm pasting it over display information. Same way that I if I if I want to change the render settings, I'm going to copy those, and then I'm going to just take all the render settings. And you can pick and choose if you uh, if you have a knowledge of how to do this sort of thing. But what I don't want to do is just select all and then completely copy and paste over it. Because there is a lot of information here and you don't want to lose it very likely. So then you would exit out, you'd click save. I'm not going to do that because I like having my high quality stuff. So, so that's that. All of this stuff is in the description below. It is pretty self-explanatory. Um, once you replace your user options.ini with the settings that you want, then you simply just start up the game. Again, actually, you have to close out of the launcher, then go back into it. Start up, start up the game. Things will be drastically, drastically different for you. And uh, and yeah, and then start from there and kind of build up. A couple other things that you can consider changing as well are the render quality, which I did I do have set to 90 uh, for the, the INI that you can download. And what this does is it, it makes the game look really, really like this is the most noticeable thing to uh, to impact the way that the game looks. You can like set it to 20 or like 40 and it's going to make the game look like a calculator if you really want it to, uh, but you probably don't. So 90 is a good place to start for 95 and then you kind of work up or down from there. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually set the graphics quality to, to ultra. So ultra is um, five. A lot of people say that if you turn your settings on ultra, then it's going to help you out. Uh, and if that's the case, that's awesome. Please do that. Uh, they, I believe it has something to do with uh, if you have lower quality settings, it has to compress the texture files and then display them, which just takes up more processing power, I guess. Uh, like I said, don't know a whole lot. I'm just giving you kind of a knowledge dump. But that is pretty much it. Uh, try some of these things out. Uh, you know, if you haven't before, please let me know how it works in the comments below. And if you have uh, experience in increasing your frames per second, please share that with everybody else because this is a big issue uh, that that's important to kind of uh, kind of resolve at least as much as we can while we're waiting on Sony to kind of uh, to optimize the game. So if this video has been interesting, helpful, entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. And also you can comment on my lack of speaking abilities if you feel so inclined. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.